Hey guys, welcome back to episode number two of this manual swap on the chaser. Unfortunately, we have to do the most intimidating job today. We have to get a grinder and start cutting the car. Now, before we get to that exciting part, I'm just gonna give you a quick tour of what we've done so far, just to sort of get you up to speed. So previously, we removed the automatic transmission. We also removed all the stuff in the interior getting ready to cut. We've removed the torque converter, the flex plate, and pretty much everything you need to remove to get the uh, manual transmission in. In today's video, we're gonna do some cutting. We're gonna also replace the rear main seal. And before all that, I'm gonna lay all the parts on the ground for you that, that we need to have to make this swap possible. So this is pretty much everything that you need to have to do this swap, just excluding some little minor pieces like the pilot bearing and stuff. This is it guys. This is everything. Now I'm pretty sure, correct me if I'm wrong, this bar is the same between the automatic and the manual. The only difference is the mount on the gearbox itself. So I'm pretty sure you can use both of these. You'll also of course need your R154 transmission. You'll also need a modified drive shaft. Now you need to lengthen or shorten it. I'm not too sure yet, but pretty much what you do is you can take your automatic drive shaft to a place to get it shortened or lengthened, or you can just find yourself a manual drive shaft, which I could not find. So I'm just gonna use the automatic one and get it modified. You will also need a flywheel, which my clutch comes with uh, we have a fork clutch fork as well this is a pull style clutch up over here as well as our master cylinder and our slave cylinder this is how you operate your clutch um, of course with our clutch pedal as well you can still buy these brand new from Toyota you just need to wait to get them shipped from Japan um, we also have a shifter as well and one other thing which is absolutely not necessary at all but it is highly recommended is replacing your rear main seal because most likely you will have a leak in your rear main seal got this from golbys.com there's the part number right there. I mean, you may as well replace it. You're underneath the car, you've got the box out. Why not replace the rear main seal? So before we get anything done today, whoop. First thing that we're gonna do is pretty much set up how this whole thing is supposed to be set up. So this hole right here, this shifter hole is not the same as the manual hole. So the manual shifter actually comes out to about here. So you need to move the hole. So that means you need to actually physically cut chassis in pieces, which is not amazing to do. But yeah, what we're gonna do is mock up all the parts right here and see exactly where it comes out and go from there. Oh, we have a visitor. Happy birthday, dude. Thank you, mate. <laughs> All right, so the first thing we're gonna do before we start cutting is sort of mock everything up we have here. So this little fiberglass piece I bought from eBay, about 98 bucks, and there's someone that makes them specially for these manual swaps. They're very good, and like you can get the metal variant from Toyota. However, this is just so much easier to do, and he makes a whole bunch of them. Um, we also have the manual shifter surround. This boot was really hard to find. We managed. I should have put that down on the parts list over there. So yeah, I'm gonna start just like putting everything together, sort of mocking everything up, and seeing where we need to cut. Um, put tape around where you're gonna cut. Yeah, I'll definitely have to. The, oh, the transmission goes there. Yeah, it comes up pretty high. So this whole, bo so this whole box here. Yeah. That comes up. Yeah. I see. This will literally bolt onto this. Mm -hmm. So maybe this needs to come forward a bit. <laughs> <laughs> but it's gonna look really factory, yeah? How sick is that? Yeah. It's so sick. All right, before we go ahead and start cutting things, I think I'm gonna install the rear main seal first because I kinda don't wanna start on the hard stuff first. I know I should probably get it out the way, but this is gonna be pretty simple, hopefully. All right, guys, so the first plan of attack is to get your drill and drill into the rear main seal, and then we'll eventually be able to pull it out with a self-tapper. I'll show you what I mean. Camera doesn't have good zoom, so. Sweet. So we're gonna get the self-tapper, just gotta bolt, start screwing in. Hopefully we'll be able to lever this out after this. <laughs> oh man, that's like pulling the whole engine. Oh, it just came out. Sick. That was way too easy. I've seen people struggle with that way more. You wanna grab your new one? No, not yet. I gotta like clean up in here. Oh, true. So we have the rear main seal finally put in. The next thing that we have to do is install the pilot bearing. So this is the part number if you're looking for it. All you do is get a socket that's the right size and you tap it into its little hole. I'll show you where that goes. So the spigot bearing, which I believe it's called, oh, it just goes right in there. I'll show you what it looks like when it's installed. 
Now, I don't know how the hell anyone will get this out. I'm gonna put bread in the middle. Transmit's a bit soft. All right, there you go, guys. Have the spigot bearing, pilot bearing, whatever you want to call it in. Just got to get it flush with this metal piece around here. We're going to install the flywheel now, and then we're going to install the clutch on the engine itself, and then sort of try to lower this and wiggle everything on when we need to get to that. We now have the twin plate as well disassembled completely, so I've taken everything apart, all the different plates, and you can see as well the carbon components of this twin plate as well. It's pretty cool. Here's just one bit of clutch material, and look, look at this. It feels like you could snap this thing in half. That smells about right. Carbon, guys. Carbon. 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 Okay. <laughs> okay. Very nice. Uh, yeah, so I'm just going around cleaning everything with brake cleaner, making sure there's no surface residue on anything. Um, it does look like it's a little bit heat scored, and we probably should get this machine, but I'm not going to even bother. Just going to send it uh, because don't have the money to fix up a twin plate. So we're going to install this first. I've also got ARP flywheel bolts under the. Ex Jesus Christ. The torque specs on these are on the Drift Motion website as well. So I'm just gonna follow that. Uh, it should be pretty simple. Tells you what to talk the bolts down to. Just uh, to let you guys know, Nathan is a mechanic by trade. <laughs> by trade? Hey! Still don't know what I'm doing. You see my knee? I see your knee. Do you see where my knee is? I see where your knee is. That's right. <laughs> hey! Uh, so the way that we're talking down these bolts is we have Nathan holding Nathan's holding the crank bolt and I am going to be talking. I don't know what a crank bolt is. He does not know. A crank, crank bolt. Ready? Wait, which, hold on. Oh God. Oh God. I'm sliding. I'm <sighs> sliding. You're sliding? There we go. Hold on, let me, let me relay. <laughs> Are you doing the star motion? Yep. Oh God. Wait, do you want? Three, two, one. Three, two, one. What's up, dude? Three, two, one. Yo! Ah! Ah! All right, guys, before we start putting everything back together, I firstly want to show you this. This is my clutch alignment tool. And unfortunately, PJ, um, it's not the right size, so I can't use it. So what I've done is I've put tape around here to sort of make the same size as the hole for the splines for the clutch, which is going to work. Pretty sure, should be fine. I'm gonna show you all the cars around here as well. So obviously we have Nathan here. We don't have Nate here, unfortunately, with the R33 because he was busy today. Ash's new wheels, dude. How's it going, guys? What's your channel as well? Oh yeah, um, my channel's called Ash Hoof. Just look that up on YouTube. Dude, He's he makes of... sick cl car cleaning videos. Yeah, so at the moment, I've got a uh, car cleaning video on it where I teach you how to, I guess, uh, make a car a lot shinier. Uh, so please check that out if you're interested. Sweet. Got a new video coming out, I think, uh, my new video tomorrow as well. New wheels are on the car and come check them out. Go check him out. I'll link his uh, channel down below. Oh my God, dude. He got himself some new wheels. What are they called? Bulk C28Ns? Damn, CE28N. So we have all the cloud cars out here today. S2000, Sylvia, Chaser in the garage getting manual swapped, and two MR2s over there. <laughs> Too many cars. <laughs> uh, okay, pretty much fits now. Pretty much fits. Um, oh, shite. <sighs> then, can you pass me pressure plate? Pretty sure I've got this installed correctly, but yeah, need to put the pressure plate on now. No, 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 no. So I need to put this on first. So I need to do it very delicately, and then I'll get you to. This one's already lying. No, 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 no. Trust me. Right. Where is it? <laughs> Did you see me outside the uh, outside the bar? Clutch is fully installed. Looking really nice up in here. My first ever twin plate. Super happy with it. I don't know why, but I'm hyped. So hyped. <laughs> We got some more of the guys here now, so let's go check out their cars. We'll get back to this in a minute. It's on there. 
Can't stop looking at it. Look who we have here. Haven't seen this man in a long time. Hello. As we all know, Andrew owns, okay, he has a GTI, a BRZ, he has an R32. He has, what else? Is that everything? He had an MR2 and now he has- right, can I, Hold on, can I clarify something? The GTI isn't mine, that's mum's. The GTI isn't his. The R32 <laughs> isn't mine, that's mum's as well. So no, I only have the BRZ and this I, new I car. count them as your cars because you sort of get to drive them. I get to drive whenever I want. Exactly. So, this is his new car. This is, this is, this is, this is my, th now I've only got two, uh, You've only got two. This is my second car, really. Yeah, second I, car, pretty much second car. I, I had the MR2 and got rid of that because- Now, you've got your conventional sort of piston operated engine and then you have- a clue. Clue, clue. I'm gonna show him. Ready? Three, two, one. Oh, rotary! I'll buy your rims if you want. I think I'm not. Sh I'm not sure if they're reps or rotor grids. Oh, I don't care, sure. dude. I'll run reps. That's fine. We'll swap. Ooh, a bit of a bank meist. Yeah. So but body work wise, the only real yeah. bankiness is this fender. The bump is like fading a bit. But I wouldn't even call that banky. Honestly, I've always liked the look of RX7s. Not in stock form, but with the body kit lowered. These things look. These things look crazy. Yeah. I'm keen for this thing to uh, get there. Oh yeah, look at that leg room. <laughs> yeah, man. Look at the seat itself. At least it has it though. Like, no, no, no. Can you fit your ass in that? I don't think the so. The hell? Have you tried to sit in the back of it? No, I had I had the uh, fourth year apprentice at work. Dude, sit in the back of it, please, right now. Oh, we got all the boys here now. <laughs> Haven't seen this thing on the channel, I don't think. Sudden. <laughs> hell yeah. So I'm just going to catch up with all the boys now because they're all here and I haven't really seen all of them together uh, since probably March because of all the restrictions and stuff. So I'll get back to the manual stuff soon. What do you think? Oh, it's mint. I love it. Dude, it's so good, yeah. Thank you. Yeah, dude, it lives up to the height. It's not quick, but it, yep. when it hits six, it's like... It screams, yeah? Yeah, it screams. Like yeah, that, that pipe it. is nuts. And like such a good like driving position, yeah? Yeah, yeah, it's mint. The only thing is the, the, the clutch catch is really high. That's the only thing. That's my mm. only complaint. Did you say your clutch was going, Ash? I think it's on the way out, man. On the way out. <laughs> all right, it was really cool catching up all of the guys and stuff after not seeing them all together for like ages. We're now gonna start working on the transmission and installing our new short shifter. It's a cube speed short shifter. Um, I bought this off a mate for cheap. It's pretty much bolt on to the R154 transmission. Super easy to install pretty much. And we're gonna do that now. Have a look at that. You can see as well that I'm kind of procrastinating on doing the chopping that I need to do in the car because I'm very scared and it's super intimidating. You know, having to take an angle grinder and suck of your car taking an angle grinder underneath the car <laughs> rest of it. um, it's just it's very difficult to do and it's just yeah I, I just I want to say that till later so I might do that later tonight oh, yeah. oh okay oh okay what the hell bro that thing just yeah let's go first Second, third, fourth, fifth. Ah, reverse. It's really loose on there because we have to take this off anyway again uh, because we can't have this sticking in there while um, trying to get the box in, so. At least we know it works. All right, so what I'm doing with all this stuff with the R154, getting it prepped to go in the car, Lachlan is over here talking to the legendary Paul Woods, trying to figure out exactly how to wiring tachometer so he can actually see his RPM range. Look at this man, knowing Lachlan exactly what to do. This is why you go to Woodsport, guys. <laughs> yeah, he's doing something with the board and then hopefully he'll be able to have a working tachometer. We're pretty much finished with the R154. We need to start cutting now. This is the moment that I have not been waiting for. So I'm just sort of like chipping away at all this like sort of insulation stuff. Apparently people use like dry ice for this shit, but you know. <laughs> what does that look like? <laughs> Wait, hey, hey. What's going on guys? And you're here, back with another video. How are you going? How are you going today, Mike? <laughs> I'm sculpting, I'm sculpting right now. I'm an artist. You're an artist? Yeah, dude, I'm Da Vinci. What, oh. what did you say? You have to blur that out. Blur that, dude. Beep. Oh, I pressed something. I pressed the... What'd you do? What'd you do? AFMF. Yo, why'd you do that, bro? I don't know what I'm doing. This one, I pressed this one here. All right. <laughs> the time right now is currently 11.13 and I've been here, here pretty much all day and we're finally gonna start cutting this thing. So I've been putting it off all day. I was originally gonna get a grinder and start chopping away. So I've actually marked up exactly where we need to cut. I'm not too sure if I've already showed this or not because it's just been such a long day. But you can see, this is pretty much where I need to cut. I've got some plywood just protecting the interior here, but I'm gonna need to do some, have some more protection before I really start cutting into it because I'm gonna do 
it in the chassis itself. I was originally gonna get a grinder and bring it in the interior of the car and start going from there and have sparks flying everywhere with everything protected and all fine. But Patrick came along, saved the day and dropped off a Dremel. So we're actually able to use the Dremel now, not have to risk having a big angle grinder inside the car cause a lot of problems, so. <laughs> Thank you so much, Patrick. Appreciate it so much, man. Little update, I ran out of cutting discs for the Dremel, so I'm gonna just get the grind up. Just gonna send it, see what happens. Here's the progress so far. I've chopped quite a bit of it up. I um, just need to do a little bit more up in these two sides and then tr chop along the top, which is probably the most intimidating part, intimidating part right there, but we're almost there, guys. <laughs> so scary, this... What am I doing? What am I doing? Cause I don't know man, I feel like I'm gonna cook this bad. There's only one way to learn, and that's by failing. We could, real, we could really cook this one guys. I think it should come off after this. Come on. Oh my God. <laughs> what the hell have I done? That was insane. I really hope it fits after that. All right guys, it's the next day. There's someone weed whacking their lawn outside, whippersnipping in Australia, that's what we call it. Someone's doing that outside. I had to end the video there last night because I was so tired working in the garage from like 10 a.m. to like 12.30 at night, but we made some crazy progress last night. Um, I wanna show you the hole that we made. I have the cover just sitting on there right now, but it's a pretty large hole. You can see it goes up quite far and I did this all based on a video that I saw online. So hopefully it's accurate and that should be enough. Look, if it's too much, we can just seal it up, whatever, but that's what we're gonna have to deal with. So, so from here on now, the next part of this manual stop is to pretty much get the box in. So I've got to send off the drive shaft to a shop to get custom fabricated or whatever before I actually start driving the thing. I'll walk you through that process in the next video on what I actually do to get done to the drive shaft to make it work in a manual, on a manual gearbox. That's probably the hardest part of the swap out of the way. We finally have that done. It's a bit that I've been procrastinating. I just had it, I just did not want to put a cutter, a cutter wheel or anything in my car. Like there was sparks going everywhere, but luckily we caused absolutely no damage. I had a look at everything. There's just a whole bunch of like metal shavings in the car. So we're gonna vacuum it up. We might remove the carpet or something. I don't know, but we'll figure that out. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you guys so much for sticking around to the end. If you stuck around to the end, please comment down below. Happy birthday to Nathan, because it was his birthday. I don't know, I need to get to work because I'm working on this thing today again, filming it and I will catch you all in the next one. Thank you so much for watching, peace out.